My name is Arielle. I'm a musician and a fashion designer. I'm going to be showing you how to make products that you can use every day. This super cute makeup bag is easy to make, it's totally customizable, and it will keep all your beauty products nice and organized. And the secret is in the awesome plastic lining, so I'll show you how to make it. You'll need a pair of scissors, craft paper, pins, a sewing machine with a zipper foot, thread, an 8-inch non-separating zipper, an iron with a steamer, feasible interfacing, a heavier cotton or home decor fabric for the outside, and the laminated cotton or vinyl fabric for the lining. First, draw and cut out a pattern using craft paper, newspaper, or even wrapping paper. It's just a rectangle, eight inches by six inches, plus an inch of seam allowance. I'm gonna begin by cutting out my lining. So I've got this fabric folded in half with the pretty side in, and line up my pattern on top. Now I'll take my fabric marker and just begin marking all the way around. So I'll just grab a few pins, and this could make holes in my plastic, so I'm gonna go right on the outside. Now I'll cut through both layers of fabric in a nice straight line. Now let's move on to the outer fabric. I've got this nice suede here, but it's not quite thick enough for me, and I'm gonna fix that with a fusible fleece. And when I iron this, it will act like one piece of fabric. So I'm gonna feel for the rougher side of the fleece, and that's the side with the little drops of glue all over that will heat up, and really hold everything together for me. And I've got the pretty side of my makeup bag facing down like this, and the glue matching up with the wrong side here. And I need to iron enough to make two of my pattern pieces. I'll just get all this fused together. It looks great. I've turned two fabrics into one. Now I'm gonna take the same pattern I used for my lining and lay it on my fused fabric. I'm gonna trace it twice onto my fabric, and then I'll start cutting. Now it's time to start assembling the bag. So I'll start by taking one piece of my outside fabric and I'll just lay it with the pretty side up. I'm gonna take my zipper, I'm gonna lay it with the, the pull tab down, just like this. So this edge of my zipper is meaning the top of my outer part right here. I'm gonna take one piece of my lining and I'm gonna line it up with the pretty side down. I'm definitely gonna to wanna to pin it together so nothing slides around on me. Now I'm gonna sew this together. I've got a zipper foot here in my machine because it's specially shaped to fit right up against that extra bulge of the zipper. I'm gonna backstitch at the beginning and the end of my seam and I'm gonna remove my pins as I go. Now let's do the other half. I'm just gonna open this up. You can kind of get a feel for what it's gonna look like when it's finished, but now I have to repeat these steps on the other side. Take the outside fabric with the pretty side up, and I'm gonna put my zipper facing down. Take my lining with the pretty side down, then I'll pin in place and sew this. Now let's finish the makeup bag. So I'm just gonna line up my two lining fabrics, and I want to just sew this shut, but I need to leave about a two or three inch opening right here, so that way I can turn everything right side out. I'll put a pin here and right here. These are gonna be my starting and stopping points, so I'll remember. Now I'll sew it up, and I'm just gonna be careful to backstitch. Come to a corner, so I'm gonna lift up my presser foot, leave my needle in, and just pivot. And now I'll keep going. Here I've come to my pin, which is my stopping point, so I'm gonna pull this out and backstitch half an inch, and then come forward half an inch. And now I'm just gonna move forward to the next pin and I'll start sewing with a back stitch. Now I want to sew my outside fabric together, just like that. But before I do, I need to open my zipper a few inches, just about right to there. When I did my lining, I left that two or three inch gap, but I'm kind of doing that same thing with the open zipper. So I'm gonna sew along all three sides all the way and I don't have to leave any kind of opening here. All right, now let's turn everything right side out. I'll begin by finding that hole that I left earlier in my lining right here. Reach in and find the hole in the zipper. And now I'm gonna take my outside fabric and just slowly and carefully scrunch it through this hole. But you might be wondering about that hole that you left in the lining. 
I'm gonna use a ladder stitch, also called an invisible stitch. Or you could also use your sewing machine. This is gonna be inside your bag so no one's gonna see it but you when you're reaching for your makeup. I'll just double knot it and cut my excess thread and stuff my lining back into my bag. And now you've made this gorgeous little makeup purse. With just some basic sewing skills, you can make a beautiful bag that looks great, is super useful, and is 100% personalized to your style.